Hey guys, what's up? I'm back here with another video, and today I'm going to show you how to make a barcode scanner that logs into a SharePoint list. Now, I covered this in a demonstration in one of my previous videos, but I never showed you how to make it, so I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. This is very simple in Power Apps, and it's actually going to be very helpful also because actually you can make your own barcodes for your own company, and you can utilize them to make processes more efficient, and I'm going to show you how to utilize that today as well. So let's go ahead and start. So before we get started in Power Apps, we're going to have to go to SharePoint and create a list. So once you go into your SharePoint group here, we're at the home page. And to create a list, it's really easy. You click on New right here. You click on List. You type in the name, and you type in the description. And after that, you click Create. And then there you go. You have a list. Now, I already made a list before. Um, this is actually the list from my previous video as well. But we're going to have to do some configuration a little bit um, of the SharePoint list as well before we get started. So come down here, return to classic SharePoint. Now, I don't know why the current version of SharePoint doesn't let you edit columns correctly. Um, so you're going to have to go to classic SharePoint to edit your columns. Now, you're not going to have time who scanned an item as your first columns here. You're probably going to have name or something like that. Now to go ahead and change these, you're going to go to list, modify view, click on modify view. And that's going to load up. Okay, as you can see here, we can select and deselect what we want to display in the list. So go ahead and select what you want to display in the list and um, make sure you reorder them uh, position from left. So you click one, two, and three. So I want the time to show up first, who scanned second, and the item third. Now if you want a column that doesn't appear here in column name, I made these, I made some, I don't remember which one I made, but if you want a column that doesn't appear here, go over here to the settings. You're going to click on site settings and then go to site columns and create right there. So once you're there, you can create new columns and then you can reorder them in the modify view page as well. It's very easy. Okay, so we've set up our SharePoint site how we want, how we want to set up. And now I'm gonna show you the final result. And here we go. We have our SharePoint site, we have our time, who scanned an item. So this is our SharePoint list, time, who scanned an item. Now you're gonna to have to remember those columns, so go ahead and do that. Now, pull up Power Apps, and here we are, we have a blank Power Apps. Now to make the actual barcode scanner, we already have 50% of the job done. It's really easy. You come over here to insert, media, barcode scanner, and let's enlarge this button a little bit to make you able to see it a little better. Let's put 36, that is a really big button. Okay, so you can name this button whatever you want. It's gonna be scan and log because what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on the button uh, while we're in Power Apps when the app is running live. We're, when we click on the button, it's gonna open up the scan page and then we're gonna scan a barcode and it's gonna automatically send you back to, it's gonna, it's gonna automatically send it back to SharePoint the SharePoint list that we have there. So let's go to view and connect our SharePoint database that we just created. SharePoint. Um, I already have a connection there, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Okay. And then our list appears right here, automate scanned list. Automate scanned list. So I'm gonna go ahead and connect that. Okay, so now it's connected. And now, the last part, all we have to do is program our button a little bit. So we click on our button, <clears throat> come up to the left side here, go to on, scan, and now we're going to change it to uh, tell it what to do once we click on the button and after we scan the <clears throat> and after we scan the barcode. Oh, sorry, I clicked out of that. On scan. Okay, here's what we're going to type in. We're going to type in patch and this updates um, what we what we want to put into the list okay so patch automate scanned list and then we want to call it item and make sure these are the curly brackets right here so because we're doing we're dealing with records so uh, power apps likes to see those curly brackets when we're dealing with records so item 
is let's see what our item is it's called barcode scanner 2 so we're going to type that in barcode scanner 2 dot value and then that's that's the item so here we have the item right there we're going to go to who scanned And to do that, we're just going to put user dot full name. So putting in user dot full name that actually grants um, Power Apps access to who is currently using the application. So uh, if you have multiple users in your organization, whoever's using the application, Power Apps is going to pull that, and then um, they're going to put it into the who scanned field here. So we're going to have that as our second record. And then we have our third record, which is going to be time. And for that, we're just going to use now. Yeah, that's it. OK, so we close off our curly brackets, close off our uh, patch function here, and then enter. And you know what? That should work. Um, that should work. And once you click this button in your Power App, it should go ahead and work. and once you scan something with a barcode there, it's going to automatically throw that into this automate scan list as long as you have internet connection. That's that's all that you need. That's going to work if you have internet connection. And you know what? That's it. That's all you have to do to make a barcode scanner that scans items automatically into a SharePoint list. Now this is it's really useful because look, come here. You go to barcode generator. Just type in literally barcode generator in Google. Um, let's go ahead and click the second link right here. And guys, look, we can just type in whatever data we want and then a barcode is automatically generated. We can save that image and we can put it all around our organization and whatever we need. So let's say you want a barcode that says admin at intelica.com, which is by the way, my email. We're going to press enter, refresh, and guys, look, that's the barcode. We take, we save the image, and then we print it out. We do whatever we want with it, and um, we can scan it anywhere in our organization. This might be helpful if we're if we're logging things or logging times or anything like that. This would be the move. Let me go ahead and show you guys how that works real quick, so that we don't have any confusion. Um, I went ahead and already saved my file, and then. Um, I'm going to open that up in Power Apps on my phone here. Sorry, I'm not going to display my phone onto the screen, but it re should be very simple. So here we have nothing in our list, and then we have our application. And if you look here, I've got my application right there. I'm just going to click on that button. It's going to pull up the camera, and I'm actually going to go ahead and scan this barcode right here. There we go. And, you know, we should see this. Oh, that was really fast, actually. We should see this appear live right here. So admin at intelica.com. We scan that, and it put it right directly into our list. So that's how it works, guys. Thanks for watching the video today. Be sure to click that subscribe button, like, and comment if you found it really helpful. Hopefully it was really useful to you. Now make sure you sign up for my form below to get access to from free advanced courses once my website comes out. Guys, these are basic courses, but in those courses that I'm going to show you on my website, they're going to be advanced and they're going to really help you take your business to the next level. So be sure to sign up for that below. And guys, happy building. Have a good day. Thanks. Bye.